Waffles and pancakes live together in equality. Waffles and pancakes reproduce sexually, meaning that the waffles carry the female reproductive organs and the pancakes carry the male reproductive organ. When it is time to make new waffles and pancakes, they trade genetic material and the baby breakfast food is carried inside the waffle for nine months. Some waffles and pancakes trade genetic material after just meeting one another, while others wait a long, long time and get married. Some trade genetic material before getting married. Others wait until after. Some waffles and pancakes never trade genetic material and are just friends or partners. Some waffles and pancakes trade genetic material with more than one other pancake or waffle. This all seems fine to most people. Until a waffle wants to marry another waffle instead of a pancake. A pancake wants to marry another pancake instead of a waffle. It's unnatural. They both have the same reproductive organs. They simply cannot love one another because they're the same. It will ruin the sanctity of marriage for all of the other breakfast items. So President Obama recently came out and supported gay marriage, which I think is awesome. Gay people have faced a lot of difficulties in history, and there's still a lot of prejudice against them. I don't believe that gay people are against God. Even if you do, it's not your place to tell others what they can and can't do. It says right in the Christian Bible, Thou shall not judge, that God will be the judge of right and wrong. The sanctity of marriage is in no way ruined by two people who love each other marrying, regardless of their gender or their genetic material sharing habits. There are people who get married who never have sex. People who have sex who never get married. People who have sex and never have children. People who have children and never have sex. All people deserve to be treated equally. We live in a world of choices. We make the choices that we believe to be right and true. The sanctity of marriage is ruined by those who aren't careful of their choices and who don't respect themselves or their partners. We cannot force others to do what we want them to do, nor can they force us to do what they want us to do. And I like it that way.